always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's a TGIF, folks. Let's make it a great one. Accept others the way they are. You cannot change other people. So try to change them to fit what you want them to be is like trying to change a dog into a cat or a cat into a horse. They are what they are, and you are what you are. Market wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 210, NASDAQ up 12, SP's up 16, gold contract up $25, trading 18, 1770 an ounce. You got silver up 27 cents, $24, 19 cents an ounce, light sweet crude up 254. Trading out at $81.34 a barrel, notes and bonds. The 10 year note up 17 ticks, trading 131.27. The 30 year up one full point plus 25 ticks at 162.29 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 75 ticks, trading 94.272. Euro is at 115. Yen's 113.40. And the British pound is at 134 to 1 US dollar. iPhone number is 877 9276648. Give us a call, folks. One that's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? We get all the indices at all-time highs, folks. So, the SPY, up today, you're at uh, up a buck 50. You're at 468.44. We get into the NDX 100 intraday. Uh, you had a little sell down on this NDX. Bottom line, <laughs> they bought every dip out here, folks. Uh, the Q's right now, the Q's are trading up 24 cents. You're at 398.49. You made it to 404. If you had a man, Mr. Basil Chapman, man, I, I wish that would just hit 400. I, those even numbers were just a mind blow. Bottom line, though, higher price. Gold. Gold contract for Friday, folks. Bottom line, you got an ABC structure in the way up. The equities are already in an ABC structure. Well, they're in a potential ABC. Royal Gold is in an ABC. That took out the B point, took it out with volume. That gold contract also took out the B point, took it out with volume. Now, let me show you something on the, on the gold contract because intraday, you could have picked this up pretty easy. Uh, actually, hold it. Oh, uh, no, we don't have an ABC up because 815 has too many. Yeah, we don't have. Okay, so when we went up there at 815, um, 1815, uh, on the 27th of October, yeah, you, you did 300,000 contracts. So we're going to do, we do 268 today. Bottom line, you have higher price, but you don't have an ABC structure on the way up because you don't have enough volume. We'll see how this baby shakes out. 1836, that's, that's my take. That's where we're going. Uh, if we go take a look at the uh, silver contract out here, we take a look at silver. What we have with silver, silver's up 28 cents. That is trading out here. Also a nice setup. Uh, 66,000 contracts. That's going to be going after... The B point, the B point on silver is 24.92, and if silver does get that, that's going to be a monster A to B equals C to D. It's a 350, which would get you up to the, about the $27 area inside of the silver market. So it's it's one big number. There's no two ways about that. We go into the uh, note and bond market. So note and bond market, folks, higher price, lower yield. That's the bottom line, and in, in, in a huge way too. So we take a look at the 10-year first. You're going to see the 10-year. We've done uh, 1.7 million contracts. 1.8 now. Uh, bottom line is there's a clear line right up to ice. So ice inside of the 10-year is laying out at 132.25. That's another full point on the 10-year. We go take a look at the 30-year because the 30-year leads out here. There's no two ways about that. That's how it normally works anyway, fundamentally. So the 30, oh, look at this, man. Oh, this is, okay, so check this out, folks. This is a heads up for us. So the number I just gave you on the 10-year, uh, let me do this one first. Well, the number I gave you on the 10-year, if I, if I was giving you a number on the 30-year, that would have been saying that the 30-year would be 161.09. And guess what? You're at 163. It blew by ice. This is, this is saying, guess what? You are going to 165.12, and uh, we'll find out from there. Let me pull this up. This is going to be cool. One second. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do now... Uh, a continuous contract on a longer basis and see where we stand here. Okay, so let's see. Oh, I see. We got a lot longer to go. Okay, it's no big deal. Yeah, we're at 163. I don't know if that spike high was at 200 or not, but the last high in uh, what was that February of 2020. 
that was uh, 182. So right right now, I suspect we're going to 167. We'll, we'll see how that shakes out. The uh, oh, I know what I want to show you. The gold contract intraday. So what you had out here this morning, folks, okay, is that the gold contract took out a B point of an ABC structure on the way up intraday this morning, and it was it was a beauty too. So where are we here? Here it was right here, I believe, right there. I had 1815. I'm trying to figure out where I did, where I got that from. It almost looks different than I'm looking. At. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's what I did. Okay. So what, what happened, it's a, it's a two-day A to B. That's what's going on. The, the, the B point out here was 1800. Uh, you blew it away with volume, and that gave you an 1815 A to B equals C to D. Um, you know, you got it, and you got it in spades. So it's pretty cool. Some of the higher volume equities out here today, we have uh, Ford Motor Companies down five cents. You got Pfizer up by 425. Peloton, uh, big number there. That's down $29, getting smoked. Looks like to me it's going to actually go further down. Madeira is down 52. You get Bed Bath and Beyond up 195. Carnival Cruise is up 190. You have uh, Apple Flat, Uber Technologies up two bucks. Merck's down eight. Norwegian Cruise Lines is up two. Uh, if we go over to, uh, let's see, Airbnb, 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 that had a nice bid out here today. Uh, that came in with some numbers. That's trading 199.97, and that's that's a that's a big move. And I'll show you something with, you know, the the cool thing about the Airbnb one. And keep this in mind in the future, folks. Okay, is that, you know, Mar Marriott had come out with numbers before Airbnb. Marriott come out with numbers on Wednesday. They were great numbers. It went higher with volume, bottom line. That's important to understand. Why? Because when you're talking about the same sector, Airbnb is the de facto uh, hotel operation. Uh, and, you know, it worked out here, meaning that if you saw what Marriott was doing, you know, you might have got into Airbnb on a short-term basis. Dow Industrials right now up 219, the Nasdaq's up 18, S&P's up 17 and a half. Stay right there, folks. Come right back.